Good morning, everyone. I acknowledge that we are meeting and talking today on the lands of the Kulin Nation. I recognise their continuing connection to the land and waters and thank them for protecting and being stewards of this country and its ecosystem since time immemorial. Their sovereignty was never ceded. This always was and always will be Aboriginal land. I'm really excited to introduce Kimmy Lovegrove this morning, a Naranjeri woman, comedian, entrepreneur, and businesswoman in relation to the Kungeri entertainment. Thanks, Kimmy. Thank you. Um, today was the day Nancy would never forget. Music was booming from the kitchen as her mother started preparing dinner. Stuffed capskins was on the menu. Nancy sat at the kitchen table and began fidgeting with her thumbs as small lines of sweat fell from her forehead. Mum, she spoke so little not even her black retriever dog could hear it. Mum, Nancy's mum jumped and nearly cut her finger as she was cutting an onion. For fuck's sake, girl, when did you get there? Nancy smiled, realising just how quiet she can be. She loved to scare her mum. So, Mum, I want to join the Tuck and Jerry dance group. You promised when I was 10 years old I could join. Her mum places the knife gently on the kitchen top and walks slowly over to the kitchen table. Nancy, honey, I get you want to feel connected and all that. Mum, it's more than that. I was put on this earth for a reason. Uncle says it is my birthright to dance and walk with my people. Country is calling me. Nancy pleads with her mum. Nancy's mum knows what she must do. She made a promise to Nancy's father a long time ago. Okay, you can go. Stay with your Auntie Jessie in Murray Bridge. She will pick you up from the station. Keep your phone on you at all times. Nancy leaps with joy. She hugs her mum tight. Nancy is her only daughter. Nancy's mum wouldn't know what to do if anything happened to her. Nancy took a massive leap on the platform at Murray Bridge Station and looked around for her Auntie Jessie. Nancy takes off and runs into her auntie's arm. It's been too long, girl. They head to the car park and begin their journey home. Nancy saw a sign that said Rauken and some small kind of language underneath. The car drove into the area and stopped on a hill. Auntie Jessie got out of the car and Nancy followed her into a cemetery. As they walked up the hill in the cemetery, Nancy couldn't help but feel like a familiarity with the names. Auntie Jessie turned around and saw a confusion look on Nancy's face. Auntie Jessie, why are we here? Nancy asked. Jessie gestured Nancy to follow her until she stopped at a grave. Nancy caught up to her auntie. She looked at the tombstone they were both standing at. Nancy fell to her knees. It was her father's grave. Thank you. Thanks, Kimmy.